Today I'm showing you the best build for Ash Williams, the Evil Dead. How to spend your points, going over what weapons you should use. Now, personally, I actually have liked using Ash Williams over Cheryl. Everybody at the start of the game, and I know a lot of you might still like Cheryl best, but I've been liking Ash Williams, and actually a lot of the people I've been playing with actually starting to like Ash Williams as well as Meta for support. Now, Cheryl does get the extra heals. She has the ability for the heals, which is very huge. But with your when you're with a very good team to begin with, then Ash Williams is the combat medic. And I'll get into a couple of reasons that Ash Williams is better than Cheryl. The advantages he has in a moment. First, we're going to be starting with the skill tree, just going over what you should take. So you're going to be taking the extra health restored. This gives you more health and your team more health when you use a cola. Reduce stamina cost to dodging. This gives us one extra evade, two extra evades after we upgrade our stamina. Seeing stars, increase the balance bar damage. We're doing a lot of attacks. Generally, we're actually attacking more enemies that are currently being executed. But sometimes we'd be hitting enemies that aren't being executed, so why not take a little bit of this? Because we want to get to tougher than hell anyway. We'll be taking 5% on the headshot damage. This does not really benefit us at all, just the slightest bit. But we do want 10% damage reduction. So these three points right here, you don't need to take these. I like these for the longer games against really good demons. It allows me to still be able to find amulets, ammo for my team, colas for my team. So I like the longer life batteries. I'm a huge fan of it. But instead of that, you could very easily take one here and three for the damage reduction. Since a lot of times you are going to have shield, giving your shield to team. Most warriors will carry their own amulet so they can get two with each use. And meta in this game really is two warriors, one hunter, and one support. Which is also why I prefer the flashlight and one extra amulet. But to each their own. I know some people don't really care about the extra flashlight uh, life does give you more items end game which is huge if you do get hit hard moving on though we are going to be taking the first aid since we will be the one to revive whenever uh possible it is much easier for the other characters to keep enemies off us than it would be for ash williams to keep them off them so ideally he will be the one reviving most people that go down so this gives them basically full health when being revived definitely need those extra shrimps at the start he does not start with as many as Cheryl so he definitely needs those right there um, actually um, that yeah both of these he needs this one is the one that increases at the start this increases his maximum carry but yeah need both of those and because there's nothing really we can use these four points on that will benefit us more than taking the maximum health, we'll take the maximum health here. So weapons of choice. You ideally want the swing speed 5 knife. Minimum though you're looking for a swing speed 3 weapon. And what you're looking to do is basically stay near warriors and other teammates when you're not just going off and getting a map piece real quick. And you're going to just heavy attack into enemies that they're attacking, even when they're being executed. And the moment that your heavy attack lands, then you're going to hit your aim button so it cancels that out. And then you'll hit your heavy attack button again. On longer executions like the chainsaw, you can actually get like five health back for you and anybody near you, like the dude executing the enemy during that uh, execution animation. The other weapon you're going to be taking is the pistol. So the pistol you're going to be using on elites, but more so possessed elites and bosses. So anytime you see a possessed elite or a boss that you know is going to be a slight problem, what you're going to do is you're just going to put one headshot into it. You can like unload three, four bullets real quick to make sure you get the headshot, but you want to land at least one headshot. Once you've landed one headshot, you can stop firing. 
So the reason for this is not only will this give everybody on the team melee and ranged 30% bonus damage, but 30% of the damage they inflict will be restored to them as health. This is huge. So possessed elites and bosses, really the only enemies that are going to cause most good teams damage. This allows them to defeat them quicker and regen health so they don't take as much damage during that engagement. So he really is the combat medic. While he's not inflicting much damage, he is huge with landing those quick headshots on the more problemsome enemies and being able to regen health. This tactic is actually huge for defending the boss helping keep the team alive, healing everybody at once if you all group up at the book. Other than that, how you should spend your points, put your first three into stamina, max out that. Then you can put one or max out your shield. And then you can uh, max out your melee just to get 5% extra melee. Then max out sta uh, your fear. Your range damage doesn't matter at all. In my opinion, after playing him, I just don't play Cheryl anymore. I like Ash Williams as meta for the support. I hope that helps.